Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Walker Ford, super sunny Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have it. This is the all new 2021 Ford F-150. Our particular one is a Lariat trim with the FX4 package. But before we get into this new pickup truck from Ford, let's talk about what's going on here. The F-150 has been America's best-selling truck for 43 years, if you could believe that. When it comes to definitely that work purpose, but what's happened over the past you know, couple decades really is trucks have gone from just being used for work purposes to those every daily drivers and bringing comfort that luxury cars are a little jealous of. But when it comes to this F-150, we have some new style, we have some new technology. Of course, you're gonna get the plethora, the cornucopia of engine choices, wheel choices, and of course, trim options. But what I wanna find out, has Ford closed the gap? Because it seems that Ram kind of pulled a little bit ahead with bringing some fancy touches, especially to the interior. Has Ford closed the gap or maybe even leapfrog in front of the competition, specifically that Ram 1500 with this new Ford F-150? So let's go ahead, let's find out what the differences are and see how it stacks up against the truck competition. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice some new sheet metal and also a ton of different things happening at the front of the business. So here are your totally new headlight housings. So you're gonna have LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps. I'm a little mixed on the feelings. I wish that they would have kept a little bit of that C-shaped interlocking design, but definitely when it comes to lighting capability, they really raised the bar. I do like the way they did their daytime running lamp starts up top and then kind of cascades down. As you work your way down, you're gonna get your lower fog lamps, of course. Very important, especially to illuminate that road in front of you at night when you're towing, when you're going off-road. And then here it is, the all-new grill. Now there are different grills for the different trims. This one being a Lariat trim, the FX4 package, you're gonna get this chrome grill design, horizontal slots. There's some little, and I don't know if Lori could pick it up, some bright silver finishes that they put on the interior sections, which gives it that extra depth of design and element of design, which I think a lot of people are gonna like. Of course, you're gonna have that massive Ford logo in the center. You work your way down, you're gonna have your totally redesigned metal front bumper, and then of course, tow hooks. Now, when you go with the FX4 package, not only are you getting those tow hooks, but you are getting some skid plate protection underneath to protect those inner bits as you're going off-road. And of course, when you say FX4, we're talking about four by four capability on this truck. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you'll see totally new design. So you have some indentations on both sides, which causes a nice rise. I'm not gonna say it's a bulge, so don't get too excited, but it does have a nice you know, perspective of that center area being a little bit higher with the way that they design both sides. And then other than that, I like the way everything just goes clean right towards those A-pillars. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup on our F-150 for 2021? You're gonna have a choice of 11 different wheel options. This is the particular setup on our particular Lariat. So this is an 18 inch wheel. As you can see, total chrome, bling bling with the Ford logo on that center cap. We're running these Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this setup? You're looking at 275 on the width, a meaty 65 series sidewall. And you can see the off-road intention with the way the sidewall is designed to help get through that off-road terrain. But definitely with our particular black F-150, those chrome wheels really balance the look and pop in the Florida sun. Plenty of room between the top of the tire inside of the fender. And speaking of the fender, we have an all new fender design, which I'm really digging. I like this nice hard body line that they ran. And then you're gonna notice that they redesigned the side vents, which have a nice, almost like a boomerang look. So you have your F-150 Lariat trim. Each trim will have a different name, different looking side vent, you know, the material. This is functional, which is great. So that's good news. You're still gonna get your standard antenna. The great news is it's not built into the fender. It's actually built into this plastic trim in between the windshield and the hood. So I kind of like the way they moved in that direction, but it would be nice to totally get rid of those uh, antennas. All new redesigned side mirrors. So you can see Lariat trim 
the chrome matching very well with the front bumper, with the front grille, with the wheel setup. You got your turn singles, you got some lighting built in. And then as you work your way down, you're still gonna get that Ford unique touch, the way they run that belt line. It kind of drops down right by the mirror. What's great about this, it really opens up the visibility for the people sitting in the front seats of this F-150. Chrome door handles, and then there's our all new updated running boards. You're gonna have the chrome finish with some nice rubber skid protection, and then you're gonna have the Ford name kind of raised on the top of that running board. And then as we work our way back at the back of the cab here, here's a touch that I really like on the design of this truck. Look at what they did. They took the body line that runs along the bottom of both doors into the end of the cab, and then they kind of dropped it into the actual bed of the truck. I really like that unique touch. And speaking of touches, you could kind of, I'm going to have Lori zoom in and you could see all the suspension work where the muffler's located. You could even see the differential and the drive shaft back there, all nice and open. I really like to see those inner bits at the tail end of the business. Speaking of the tail end of the business, you're going to get your FX4 badging, just like in the past, that off-road specific. Now what's fun for 2021, and that kind of rhymes, is that there's going to be a tremor option. So if FX4 doesn't check off enough off-road boxes for you, stay tuned for the tremor uh, trim. We're going to be bringing it to you here from Walker Ford. Lariat, I like the way they finish it off with a single chrome tip exhaust pipe right there. Nice circle cut. And then as we work our way to the back, of course, just like up front, we had redesigned headlights. We have totally redesigned taillights with LED brake lamps. Looking good. Like the design, really kind of stands out at the tail end of the business. The way they reworked the whole tailgate, a little bit of chrome trim. Of course, you're gonna have chrome bumper set up. We got all of our trailer hookup, very easy to get to. All that connectivity is up high, out of the mud, out of the dirt, out of all that grungy stuff to where you can hook up very cleanly. And then one thing I'm gonna actually have Lori do is kind of swing back around. I wanna show you the top of the tailgate. They actually built this aerodynamic kick up into the actual tailgate itself. This is gonna help for aerodynamic efficiency. And then to open up the tailgate, look at this. Nice soft release. How many times have you gone to Home Depot and maybe you don't do it enough to where you're gonna get all the required equipment, but you bought some long pieces of wood and you need some tie down locations. I really like the way they built those things to where you could lock all sorts of tailgates and whatnot into this actual bed of the truck, even on the side here. You're gonna have the ability to have straps that could be brought down. And this also doubles as a bottle cap opener. So if you're tailgating and you're at the back end of the business on your truck, you could be tailgating and be able to open up those bottles very easily. And then you can see the rear of the truck, nice and wide. Obviously, you could option in a bed liner if you want to. This one does not have it, but it does have LED interior lighting. And I love the location of the power source here easy to get to. You can run your power tool, whatever you need, one, two, three. And then of course, you're gonna get the sliding rear glass window on the cab. And we also have that cab lighting at the top of the end of the business. But why don't we go ahead. We've talked about what this F-150 is doing on the outside. Let's see what surprises we have under the hood of our particular pickup truck. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts that hold up the hood underneath our particular Lariat trim. And remember, there's tons of engine options for an F-150. We have that tried and true, that go-to, and Ford is still building it. It's that five liter naturally aspirated V8. So you're looking at 400 horsepower. That's actually five more horsepower than last year. 410 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to that 10-speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60 in about 6.1 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna go by around 14.5 at 96.3 miles an hour. The truck weighs 5,687 pounds, can tow up to 11,000 pounds. MPGs, 16 in the city, 22 on the highway. Remember, we have new active air dams at the front end of the grill to help with that aerodynamic efficiency to work on some of that better MPG numbers. And this one is optioned with the 331 rear differential that's an electronic locking rear diff. But it's nice to have the selection, the variety of engine choices, and they're all, the great news is they're all gonna be mated to that 10-speed 
automatic transmission. But while we go ahead, we got a V8 here. Let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been waiting for you to review this Ford F-150 because I need a new full-size pickup truck and I wanted to make sure that I had all the right information so that my ducks were in a row. How much is this Lariat trim F-150? And guess what? My statement to you is, very good question. MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, FX4, Lariat trim, you're looking at $59,900. Let's see what you get for the money. To the new door panels, I really like this faux wood style design that they have at the top, a little bit of chrome trim, and then that gray with the white contrast stitching is like a wetsuit material. It's like a neoprene material. It's soft to, to, to the touch. It is, I think it's gonna wear very well, and it's gonna be super easy to clean, and then look what they did. They moved the placement of the switch gear to lock and unlock the door. Very smart location. Love the way everything kind of flows into that soft armrest to keep your arm all nice and comfy. Of course, we have the required Twinkie holder in the center. You can easily put three Twinkies, no problem. This one has the optional B&O sound system, classy uh, aluminum cover there, and then boy oh boy, that door pocket's gonna make a lot of other trucks jealous. You have enough room to go to your favorite Italian deli, get your 12 inch meatball sub. You got two locations for drinks and a place to put a bung cake. So you could have your lunch and your dessert all in one door pocket. Now, when we go from the door pocket to the dash, you do have a nice handle to pull yourself in. That wetsuit material with the stitching, very classy. What really feels elevated is this aluminum finish. Love the way it wraps around the AC vent. And if you're wondering, you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, that looks like a door to something. Well, guess what? You're correct. Open Sesame, we push the button. You could easily put 24 Twinkies. That's more than two boxes of Twinkies in there. Golden, delicious treats for your next work day, for your next road trip. And then here is the crescendo. Get out the, the band and start playing some music because we have an all new 12 inch infotainment system screen setup. What I like about this setup compared to the Ram 1500 is I like the horizontal location. 12 inches of visual pleasure. You got the new Sync 4 system, which is going to bring wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. We have a navigation, of course. Look over here how we have this separate screen where you could go through a bunch of different information. Real easy to use, fast reacting. And then if you want cameras, we hit that camera button and you can see out back, no trajectory though, which is a little bit of a bummer. We have that backup camera screen, easy to use. Let me go ahead and get out of this. I'm gonna throw it into reverse and make sure we do have trajectory on the actual reverse gear camera setup. If you hit that top camera, there's just the guidelines to let you know where you're at. But you can see how the image fills up the whole entire screen and they're using some nice camera quality, no weird, uh, fa you know, foggy setup to it. And then I put it back into park. We drop down. You're going to get that chrome trim that flows into your start-stop button. We got a little bit of a coin tray. That's something you really don't see it on many vehicles when you're going through those different toll boots and whatnot. Here is our control knob to go from two high to four high to four low for our 4x4 system. All new radio controls and AC controls. You get dual climate, easy to use, and then of course you could adjust it on the screen as well. Ventilated seating, heated seating, and heated steering wheel. Thank you Ford for bringing all that. Over on the side, I have a 12 volt, and we have a home power source with nice covers. I like that. And then check this bad boy out. You got the faux wood design again. Loving that metal style finish. Slide back, massive storage area. USB-C and a USB. Plus, check out this new design. I'm digging this. Look at that guy right there. You could actually stand up your phone in this little holder and you could actually remove it if you don't want it in there. So we could take it and remove it or you could just slide it back real easy and you could fill this up. Think about filling this up with Skittles. 
You could get a two pound bag of Skittles in there and taste the rainbow all day long. Close it up on the side. We have a banana tray. So you got these nice wide banana trays so you're not gonna scratch your banana. Two cup holders, I'm liking the flat black. Very, very nice finish. I'm glad they didn't do gloss. And then this is the all new shifter. Leather with the stitch work. This is gonna control that 10 speed automatic. And if you're ready for a magic trick, watch this. Hocus Pocus. It has the revolutionary folding shifter. So what that allows you to do now is have this whole area freed up. Say you have a laptop, it's not in the way. You don't have to have it on your lap anymore and maybe cause something weird with radiation where you wouldn't be able to have kids or something. Now you could, and then when you're ready to get out of your, and go driving, now you're good to go. It pops right back up. You got, of course, your Slim Jim holder. And then you have that nice wide armrest with the stitch work. We open this bad boy up. Guess what? You got the removable party tray. If you like driving around with a football, you could easily drop a football in there. And there are two USBs in there as well. So you can keep your balls warm. That's always important. And then the seats. Love the leather finish, the piping. This is what elevates the quality. The way they brought the piping in, all of the perforated material, nice and soft, 10-way adjustable for the passenger and the driver. And guess what? This passenger seat can fold totally flat so you can take a nap, which if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm getting a little, little tired here. Let's, let's see how you take a nap in your new Ford F-150. All right, guys, here we go. I already got a running start. That electric assist, we're going. We're going all the way. So there you are, where you could easily, say you're on a work site, you get there early, nobody else is there, you could easily take a nap. Maybe you're in line to pick up your kids from school. Those lines get long, you wanna get there early. Hop over here, take a quick nap, get some shut eye. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's get to the business end because I got 12 inches over there I wanna show you. All right guys, before you get into the business end of things, I wanna show you a new feature for 2021, remote tailgate release. So I'm gonna hit a button on the driver's side and that's going to release that tailgate. You don't even have to get out of the truck. Say you're going somewhere to get something loaded up in the back, just hit that button and you're good to go. Speaking of good to go, look what we have new for 2021, power adjusting pedals. So by the flick of a switch, I can move the brake pedal and the throttle real easily to get that perfect setup. Speaking of setup, of course we have the adjustable seats, easy to get to, 10-way adjustable with that lower lumbar. I like the way they brought a little bit of chrome finish, kind of just elevates the overall feel. And you have three memory seat settings, so you could let people borrow your F-150 if you're you know, that trusting to do that. Sitting up front in the cab, I got plenty of room. Seats feel great. Steering wheel, all new. Love the thickness. It's got this contrast baseball style stitching all the way around. Babe Ruth would be very proud of that. A little bit different design, the horn button. I'm going to zonk it. It's not really the sexiest of horn buttons, but I do like this silver plastic trim that they have here. Flat black on the buttons, and of course on the lariat trim, you are getting power tilting and telescoping steering wheel and like i promised you here's 12 inches 12 inches of visual gauge cluster i like the nice large tack speedometer you got the readouts at the top and then check this out you could scroll very easily you got your ford 360 protection the fuel economy real fast reacting super clean graphics the chrome trim everything is well balanced and then to wrap it off your key fob now the bummer is, and I am gonna zonk this, it's the same key fob from 2020. So it would have been nice if maybe they shrunk this down a little bit, because it's kind of big. You put this in your jean pocket, you may not have kids if you sit down wrong in your F-150. I flip it around, and then you're gonna, of course, have remote start. You could release that tailgate very easily. But why don't we go ahead? It's not just about the people up front. That would be selfish of the, us to think that. Let's check out the back seat and see what new things are in store for 2021. All right, guys, backseat time in the F-150. And like I told you at the start of this video, I mean, only one time many, many years ago would they have ever thought that the back of a truck would be like this, or there would even be a backseat in a pickup truck. One of the new additions that I think is huge is this cup holder container right here. So you could use this as a cup holder, or you could put some snacks in there, pour some peanut M&Ms. There's that 
faux wood trim that I'm digging, but this is all new for 2021 on our door panel. Backs of the seats, of course, you're gonna get large pockets. You could put two Etch-a-Sketches back there. So you could have two different pieces of artwork going on, the leather all the way around. I got plenty of room. You got cup holders, you got a place for your phone, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. So I am gonna zonk that. You got the AC vents, which I wish they would have them here, but also have them in the frame as well on the sides. You got a 12 volt. We have our USB, USB-C, and a home power source. So you got all your connectivity right there. And then the seats, I haven't even moved anything. There's, there's plenty, there's more room in here than there was in my college dorm room. I promise you that. And then of course you're gonna get that ability to flip up the seat and have all that extra storage capability, which is really wonderful. But while we go ahead, let's get to the best part. We got a five liter V8. I got some new technology. Let's take this F-150 for a spin. All right, guys, we are leaving Walker Ford. We're in the 2021 F-150. Pretty cool with the new technology. Definitely they have raised the bar, got closer to Ram with their fancy technology. The digital screen in here, that virtual cockpit is unbelievable. The graphics, the clarity, very, very nicely done. And the 12 inch infotainment system screen, especially the way you can take the navigation and stretch it out to fit up the whole 12 inches. That's what's wonderful about it. It's one thing to have 12 inches, it's another thing if you're gonna use it. And that's what I like about this F-150 is that you could use all of that space. Visibility, just like any other Ford F-150 before, it is excellent in here, especially with the way that the front doors have that belt line that kind of drops down as you get to the side mirrors. Side mirrors are interesting. New style, new design. They show you lots of uh, real estate behind you. It just it takes a few moments to get used to it because it feels like you're in an F-150, which is a good thing, but there's some new things that come with the new F-150 that kind of change the overall um, understanding of what's going on with having that different shape of a, of a side mirror there. But rides really good. And of course, once we get out on the highway, we'll be able to stretch our legs and get that five liter up to speed, especially with the extra five horsepower for 2021. All right, guys, pulling away from the light. Like I mentioned earlier, having the versatility of so many different engine options. I think this five liter is such a good go-to um, because you're gonna have that tried and true power. It's good for towing. People like to have that V8 rumble in their pickup truck, but there are other options as well, uh, ranging from the 2.7. I can't wait to get my hands on a power boost uh, and show that hybrid, the first ever F-150 hybrid is gonna be exciting, especially when it comes to all those accessories uh, in the tailgate area. That's gonna be exciting to look at. But on throttle, here we go. 10 speed drops down and you get up to speed real quick. Great sound. Really like the way it pulls all the way through the rev range. You know, some engines, when you get on throttle, as you get closer to red line, it starts to run out of steam. There's really no reason for it to go all the way to red line. This engine though, that five liter, pulls nicely all the way to red line has a great sound to it, which is always a big plus. And just overall, the, the driving of this truck, it rides really nice. The visibility is great. All the new amenities, the little storage places for all the different snacks, all your, all your Twinkie, Snickers, whatever you got, there's a place to put literally everything in this truck. And I think Lariat is a smart trim because you're getting a lot of nice amenities from the electric tilt and telescoping wheel to the uh, power seats. And then of course, we have that 12 inch infotainment system. Brakes work great in the F-150. Let's get back on throttle, here we go. Turn in, feels good. I love this steering wheel, especially the quality of the leather coming out of the turn. On throttle, here we go. impressed with this screen for the first ever full TFT digital display of a screen it really shows exactly what you need and the, the numbers are massive like the mile per hour the numbers are big so it's not gonna be hard for you to to see it and you won't be able to use that excuse when you get pulled over by the cops hey I, I couldn't read my digital dash 
I mean, it's almost like a billboard right in your face. And I do like the digital gauges across the top. It tells you what the speed limit is, which is nice. And then you can toggle through all those other readouts, your MPGs, your range, all that good stuff. You got the lane keep assist. I can feel the steering wheel vibrate a little bit as you get onto that white painted line. But I think another thing I'm really liking is the quietness. It's really, really quiet in this new F-150. So you know they did some homework on their sound ending, the noise cancellation of the windshield, a little bit thicker side glass. And it's nice to have that without having to go King Ranch or uh, Limited. Because obviously, uh, you know, you look at the price points between those types of trims compared to this Lariat. Not that this is a cheap trim by any means, but I do like the quality feel I'm getting in here compared to a 2020 F-150, even at the same trim, the same Lariat trim. Touch points feel phenomenal. The seats are wonderful and your back seat passengers are really gonna enjoy uh, themselves. I, I think they should have ventilated seats back there. So sign a petition, get people uh, up in arms for some ventilated seats for the passengers in a Lariat trim because at $60,000, they deserve to be cooled off as well. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the F-150 with that V8 at the Lariat trim, new for 2021, is bringing to the table. We're gonna get back to Walker Ford and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a day here at Walker Ford. I definitely gotta thank Frank Walker, Weston Walker, Tracy, Randy, Austin, the whole crew, getting us access to this 2021 Ford F-150. Has Ford done it? Has Ford created that full-size pickup truck that now has the technology you want, the style and all that usability? I'm definitely telling you that they raised their own game and they raised their own bar. It's gonna be interesting to see in the long run how it compares to the Ram 1500. And of course, we can't forget the others, the Chevrolet Silverado, we got the GMC Sierra, and even trucks like the Toyota Tundra and the Nissan Titan. But definitely glad I could bring it to you. If you wanna keep seeing these new F-150s, all the different variants, because I promise you there's a ton, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. We got those awesome on throttle t-shirts that many of you have been asking for. Speaking of awesome, we gotta give a huge shout out to the queen of the camera, Lori, holding it down like a champ, getting all this F-150 action for you. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.